I S U P K. Hey, Salam, man. It's Priest Kevin Condoha with the I S U P K. And the Commander Johnny Hanna in California, man. It's like all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Subscribe to this channel, man. You want true salvation? You gotta learn from the priests and prophets of the I S U P K, man. Subscribe to that channel. Hit that button, man. And it's there with that. Salam. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know I was in danger. Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger Pray to him all the time, but I was just a stranger All I ever wanted was to be a gangster Little did I know I was in danger Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger Pray to him all the time, but I was just a stranger All I wanted was to be a gangster And shot call To be known with them niggas letting shots off Either that or the right hand to the top door Funny how we see vanity and not the lives lost Can't be focused on a life that's hopeless Out there pumping, not knowing the Lord will kill you for that hocus pocus Used to roll with niggas that cook dope with weaponry Same ones claim they love you, I had your life in jeopardy And I know my mother won't success for me But that G should take a girl straight to ecstasy you hated us since the days of Christ, man. And it's in the Bible. Listen, if you let a black man follow the law, if you let a black man follow the laws of this Bible, the jails would be empty. That's right. The jails would be empty. If you if you let a black if you let a black man, a Latino man, follow the Bible, there will be no drug dealers, man. That's right. Let a black let a black man follow God's laws and police. Your job will be super easy. And hey, well, listen, a black man following the Bible, he not gonna lead, he not gonna lead, he not gonna need no damn police because he gonna be the police. Right. He gonna be the police, and he gonna see his brother going against the laws of God of his father. He gonna say, "Look, brother, our God said not to do that. Right. We ain't doing that. We not gonna do that, man. Our God said not to be homosexual, so we not gonna be gay. Our God said not to do any drugs, so we ain't doing that. That's right. But guess what, a America?" You won't leave black people alone to do that. You want us to follow your, your corrupt, disgusting culture. Right. Just like the Romans wanted Christ to fall. And it's in the Bible, man. Go ahead and read. John chapter 11. We had John chapter 11. Go ahead. Verse 46. But some of them went their way to the Pharisees. And, but some of them went their way to the Pharisees. At that time, you, you, you would compare the Pharisees to sellout leaders, man. To Christian leaders who wanted to serve their oppressor and serve their enemy instead of really, really sacrificing and looking out for their people, man. Go ahead. And told them what thing Jesus had done. Right. Then gathered the chief priests and the Pharisees and council and said, What do we? For this man doeth many miracles. Right, this man doing many miracles. A man, <clears throat> that's what that's why they want to stop us today. They want to stop us. They want to they want to get deep, they want to get us up off this corner. Up off this corner because they know if we are, if we are let alone that overnight by tomorrow black people is not going to be doing no drugs. That's right. They know by tomorrow black people are not going to be homosexual. They know by tomorrow that black people are not going to be eating eat, eat, eat any pork. That black black and Latinos will drop all sins and they will be so separate and so indifferent. Because then they will know who the oppressor is. We, we will know who the oppressor is. Go ahead. Verse 48. If we let him thus alone. You see that? Go ahead. All men will believe on him. Whoa. Read that again, brother, from the let us alone. Read it again. If we let him thus alone, all men will believe on him. And take Romans. Salaki. And, and the Romans shall come and take away both our places and nations. Read it again from the top. This is, this is the reason why Christian pastors want to stop. This is reason, the reason why Christian pastors hate the revolution, the revolution, man. That's right. They hate revolutionaries. They hate the ICBK because we so damn revolutionary. And we just, the revolutionary just like Christ was. That's right. This is why they hate us. Go ahead. John chapter 11, verse 48. If we let him thus alone, if you leave the if you leave the eyes, you became alone. Go ahead. All men will believe on him. 
Hallelujah. All men will know who their enemy is. That's right. All men will know not to not to commit, not to celebrate, or not to follow the evil of American society. Go ahead. And the Romans shall come and take away both our places and nation. And the Romans are going to take away our places and our nation. Meaning this, <laughs> the people who was talking right here were evil, were evil politicians and Christian leaders. We all, we all know that Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson is a sellout, right? We all know what they, what they are used for. What they are used for is this. When a black man or Latino man is shot, the people in that neighborhood are angry. They're angry because a cop is supposed to protect and serve. But they ain't doing no protecting and no serving for the black man. They're doing shooting. They're doing killing. They're doing murders, man. And now when those cops are taken to court, they do not get they do not get indicted. And guess what that means? If, they, if a cop is not getting indicted for the murder they committed, that, that means black people, those black people will not commit it, I mean will not serve any justice. And without, and without justice, your life means nothing. So guess what? We angry about that. Guess what the white man, guess what, means, guess what the oppressor does? The oppressor writes a fat check for some uppity Negro like Al Sharpton and Jesse Jackson, and they come down and tell us to sing. Right. They tell us to hold hands. They tell us to do a peaceful march. They tell us to calm down. Calm down, calm down. Don't be angry, man. Well, guess what? When, 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 the twin, when the Twin Towers were taken down in 9-11, who taught America to calm down? Who told George W. Bush to calm down? Nobody did. And George Bush went over there and there was bombs over Baghdad. He, bombed, he, bombed, he, bombed, he went over there to the Middle East and he laid down bombs. Because guess what? America know what justice is. And the Bible does too. Look, the Bible speaks about an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. And in 9-11, when, when the Twin Towers were knocked down, they had to go and do what? America had to go and avenge their people, right? Well, guess what, black man? You need to be avenged, too. No longer, no longer should a, ra a racist cop kill an innocent black man, kill an innocent Latino man. And you need to be served justice. And guess what? You will not be served justice if you vote for any American president, you have to choose God. You have to vote for a black man in Christ. You have to vote for a God who taught an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Who teaches vengeance, man. You know, you, you listen, you, you've been lied to about God. They told you God was all about peace, right? I show you scriptures when God said, if you follow me, I'll be an enemy to your enemy, man. Give me Exodus chapter 23. Or was it? Go ahead. I, I, I show you. I show you when the Lord said, listen, black man, you obey me. You will be an enemy to my enemy, man. Go ahead. If you got any, any questions, they're going to ask you at the table, all right? I'm going to show you when the Lord said this, man. And you can leave your thumb there. And bro, you can leave. Give me Revelation 13 and 9. I'm going to show you, black man, you're supposed to be served justice. Latino, we are supposed to be served justice for the crimes that are committed against us. Let's read it. Let's read about it. Let's read about what's supposed to happen to America for the slavery they put us through. Go ahead and read, brother. From the book of Revelations, chapter 13, verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Verse 10. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Let him hear. The Latinos who are put... And um, who are poor deported and put in cages at the border. Go ahead, read. Verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity. Listen, man, if you put any, if you put a race of people in a captivity, which is slavery, what is gonna what should happen to you for doing that? For doing that heinous crime. Go ahead. Shall go into captivity. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity, man. All right. Black man, I'm gonna tell you about a, I'm gonna tell you about a glorious future. Why don't why don't we why don't we vote for that? Why don't why don't you put that on a ballot? Why don't you put if you if you want true justice, 
and the Bible teaches, teaches that justice is an eye for an eye, how come, listen, you will put it, you will put in slavery for 400 years? How about our oppressor be put in slavery for 400 years? That's right. It's only holy. And, and, and you listen, instead, instead of you trying to uh, try to impeach Trump, you need to impeach, you need to, it, you need to introduce Proposition 1310. How about how about impeaching America, man? That's right. You need to let uh, impeach America. Let America go into slavery because what? They have getting they have been getting away with crimes for 400 years. How long have they been mistreating and murdering blacks and Latinos forever? For hundreds of years and thousands of years and getting away from it, man. Listen, black man, we talked about listen er, earlier this year. They talked about they talked about rep, uh, reparations. Damn the reparations, man. You need slavery. That's right. You need some slaves. That's reparations. Look, look at look at look around America. Look around DC. DC, D, DC is all built up nice, all built up nice. You got these uh, nice looking buildings. You got downtown DC. You got Chinatown. Listen, we need we need a Latino town. We need a nigger town down here, right. and we need some slaves to build it. That's right. You need some slaves to build it. And listen, black man, if you confuse, I'm only reading the Bible. That's right. I'm only reading. If you confuse, I'm only reading the Bible. And if you thought you if you thought you knew the Bible, it's because our Christian pastor has lied to us. Right. Go ahead. Let's let's read. Let's read about if let's read about if we if we obey God, what will God do for us? Read the book of Exodus, chapter twenty three, verse twenty two. But if thou shalt indeed obey His voice, black man, if you if you obey God's voice and not vote for some stupid American president who do not give a damn about us, read. And do all that I speak. And we gotta, we gotta obey God's commandments, man. We gotta obey God's commandments and drop the filthy culture of America. Go ahead. Then I will be an enemy unto thine enemy. Wait a minute, what? Go ahead. Hey, Salak, your brother. I heard what you said right there, right? I heard what you said. You, you said, you said what we preaching is dangerous without action. No, I want to ask you. I, could, could, I, could I ask you a question? What kind of action are we talking about? Give me one second, brother. Let him answer. Just, just let him answer. What kind of action are we talking about? What, 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 what I'm asking you. I, we didn't say. We didn't say we want to. You're not listening. Let, let's, let, let's get. Let's get. Let's get it again. Let's get it again. Listen, when America, let me ask you something. When America's soldiers go to war, is, that, is, is what they do their personal desire? Or is what they do the desire? No, it's not. No, it's a check. And their actions, their actions are dictated by somebody who is in charge of them. That's how a military works. That's how a family works. That's how any organization works. So now, what we saying is not our desire. Is the desire of the man we serve who is over us. Our King Jesus Christ said, uh, let me finish brother, I ain't cut you off, let me finish. He said, whoever enslaves his people, they are going to go into slavery. The reason we telling you this is because you never heard it in your life. Right. So now, once again, I'm asking you, you said to, to be preaching this without action is dangerous. What sort of action are you talking about? I'm do I'm putting action to it. I am putting action behind my words. I'm saying God is going to enslave white people. God is going to burn America to the ground. God is going to put them in chains. That's right. Now the action the action I'm the, the action I need to do is to stop sinning and serve God. That's the action. Now what you said was right. You was absolutely right. Talking, the, the Bible said faith without works. I'm being real. The Bible says faith without works is dead. No problem. Uh-huh. I didn't say we need to enslave white people. You are lying.
was trying to find something to follow Had loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed so packed, I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's hereditary from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good ship Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell No call it can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? Got a tongue like a two-edged sword.